April 11, 1956, 7.12 p.m. Chabad Village, Israel. A class prepares for evening prayers. Three terrorists appear in the doorway, spraying bullets in all directions. The young teacher moves quickly, pushing his students through the window. The terrorists escape into the orange groves. They leave five students and their teacher murdered. The village mourns. The Chabad community mourns. All of Israel mourns. In response, officials in the town want to close down the schools. All eyes turn toward New York, awaiting the Rebbe's word. We can never understand such an event. But how we must respond is clear. Now we must grow and thrive. Through continued building, we will find solace. In a move that mirrored the Rebbe's approach to terrorism in general, he sent a group of 10 yeshiva student emissaries to Israel as his personal representatives. Their mission? To revive and uplift the spirit of Israel. The attack sparked a new era of growth for Chabad institutions and activities in Israel. Throughout its modern history, in times of triumph and hardship, the people of Israel were comforted and encouraged by this man in Brooklyn who wouldn't stop thinking about them and reassuring them. Rabbi Schneerson is a great man in Israel. He's a great uh, lover of the house of Israel. A unique personality, no doubt, that serves as a leader for a tremendous number of Jewish people. A person that on one hand lives in the world of the Torah, but has got practical sense to the realities of the life everywhere in the world and great sensitivity for the preserving of the Jewish people. You know, the Rebbe symbolizes Abat Israel, the love for Israel, for the people of Israel, for any one of Israel. It was reassuring for me to have uh, that clarity uh, expressed by uh, such an important uh, leader in the Jewish world. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, moved away from basic principles. And the Rebbe never moved away from basic principles. He always had his gaze fixed on the most important things. Yeah, I was very privileged to uh, meet uh, the Rabbi uh, many times. And I was privileged uh, to get uh, many other letters from the Rabbi. Um, a letter that dealt with uh, various uh, issues from, uh, let's say, the situation in Israel uh, to, um, let's say, the most interesting a military analysis. Maybe the, one of the greatest uh, men or the greatest I ever met. He wird angerufen, er ist a Kedish, a parallel Schönes. And through all the Völker, the Rebbeister has given Kirch, Jede, Rieden, as a Hachonis to Martin Taylor, the Atem Tiel in Mamleches Kain in the Gay Kodish, in the Schein are reingestellt und das wird der Erzen von Jede, Rieden, as a Ries, a Gay Kodish, nicht gucken dich, wie er viel zu hoch bepeilt. It does not need a nice wenig to say, it does not need massing to say, primis. And it is a sicherer thing, a soft call soft, that it is a hoof happen from the schlaf, from Golos, and that it is a film, 
The first group of Chabad Hasidim traveled to the Holy Land at the end of the 18th century, sent by Rabbi Schneir Zalman of Liadi, the Alto Rebbe. He personally raised the funds for their survival through a charitable organization he created to provide for them. At the time, the land was under Turkish rule, and the Tsarist Russian government felt the Alta Rebbe's efforts were a threat to their empire. In 1798, he was arrested for high treason by aiding the Turkish enemy. In the years that followed, each of his successors, the Rebbe's of Chabad, urged their followers to move to join their brethren in the Holy Land and personally raised the funds to support them. Later, the Hasidim founded the Semak Sedek synagogues in Svat and Jerusalem. Through the generations, the Hasidim were victims of oppression by their Turkish neighbors, British soldiers, and Arab legionnaires. Each time a pogrom or looting took place, the Rebbes of Chabad would console them, send them material support, and urge them to strengthen their yeshivas and synagogues and community institutions. Until today, humanitarian aid is a basic staple of Lubavitch's activities in Israel. The Rebbe taught us to love every Jew and to help every Jew. We do our best to fulfill the Rebbe's will and to help every single person, physically and spiritually. This place serves as a kitchen for the old and infirm who have nothing to eat at home. We serve about 200 meals a day, and over 100 people receive food at home every day. We're talking about more than a thousand needy families from across the land which we help with food vouchers to use in food stores. Everything a family needs for the holidays. Our professionals try to determine what each family member needs. Tzfat is a city very far away from the center of Israel. We have a doctor's clinic, a children's doctor, a family doctor, a women's doctor, and we also have a homopathic treatment and similar treatments. taken the responsibility for their childhood. Everything that means, tucking them in bed at night, holding them when they're sad, clothing them, feeding them. Once God puts a child into the world, it's the world's child, and the world has an obligation to care for that child. In 1893, the fifth Rebbe, Rabbi Sholom Dovber, sent a group of students from his yeshiva in the town of Lubavitch to Hebron to establish yeshivas Torres Emes. Today, the Lubavitch school system comprises hundreds of preschools, day schools, yeshivas, and teachers' seminaries serving all segments of Israeli society. The students learn the revealed and hidden portions of the Torah. But most importantly, they learn how to love their fellow Jews. They each know that eventually they will put aside their personal pursuits to help others. The Rebbe believed that the Torah study of Jewish children was vital to protecting the land of Israel from its enemies. <laughs> The 
der was viel tun mit aller Mähen und eben dich von Zivis Hashem, sagt, als lebe Heil, wir lebe Keach, Kiem, Beruchi, Omar Hawaii 2 ist, a Dura Dura was mit Gehen Beruchi, wo du sie durch Lernen Teru mit keinem sein Mitzwes, wird in Dämmelt nicht davon ankommen, nicht zu Keach und nicht zu Heil, Wollen die kiddische Kinder bringen dem Nizochen in dem Milchome mit dem Jeze und bringen Scholem in der Welt. Durch den Ruf, wo sie es halten, so stark in Telo. In my first meeting with the Rabbi, he told me that there's a commandment to teach your children Torah twice daily. In our schools, we now have about a thousand boys and girls. Thank God, more and more children from many different segments of the community are joining our educational institutions. We are growing. We have daycare centers, kindergartens, a day school, and a yeshiva. During the course of the years, we set up a daycare center and an educational system that has well over 750 children. It includes a girls' school, a boys' school, daycare centers, kindergartens, everything that you need, you name it, we have it. Welcome to the front lines. For the past year, this place has been a target for terrorists. Our main job is to encourage the residents, to encourage the Jews here, and to make them happy. Thousands of students who are graduated this time here are today spread out all over the world. Rabbis, Schulz, Schluchim from the Rebbe, leaders from Jewish communities in the whole world, from Australia till Morocco, from England till Brazil. I've studied two years at university, and I thought I'd take a year or two off to get a proper Yiddish education. The good thing about my knot is that it really caters for people at, at just about any level, and people with little to no background and with limited Hebrew skills can come here and begin learning and sitting in the base medrash from the, from the first day. One of the first things we learn is that helping another Jew is very precious. And we know that when we grow up, we will go out to help other Jews as well. I came to Israel from Bukhara in 1995. I am now at the Archana Girls School. I am in the ninth grade. Since the first year, I've really enjoyed the school. From my perspective, the school gives me everything. What I need is motivation and to pass my final. Based on the Rebbe's word that it's never too late, at our yeshiva, we believe that even a student who arrives here and feels it's hard for him, and he can't do it, at Torah Tech, we give him the feeling that he can do it, and he can succeed. We have 25 youth clubs in the area. About 1,000 children come two or three times per week. They experience Judaism with lots of fulfillment and lots of happiness. In 1949, the previous Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson, sent many Hasidim who had survived the war to Israel. He counseled them to settle there, take up farming, and live by the Torah's teachings. On his directive, a large group settled on an empty plot near Tel Aviv. Thus began the first Chabad village in Israel. They called it Kfar Chabad.
Today, Chabad villages and settlements across the land are modern centers of agriculture and education. Tens of thousands of boys and girls come here from all backgrounds of the Israeli population, most of whom are not religious. They encounter for the first time the Chumash and the Torah and their wonderful, authentic message. They come here to Kar Chabad and for the first time in their life, they see a real matzah and how it is baked. Twenty-eight years ago, the Rebbe sent my father to the holy city of Tzfat in order to return it to its glory. Today, it is an entirely different city. There is no doubt that with all that's going on here, it is appropriate for the city of Tzfat to be the capital of the Galilee where Mashiach will reveal himself. We're very privileged that many of the residents of this city are Lubavitcher Hasidim. And as the mayor of the city, in the name of all the residents, I'd like to thank the Lubavitcher Rebbe on his decision 30 years ago to found Nachlat Har Chabad. When the Rebbe took over leadership of Chabad Lubavitch, Israel was a foremost priority on his agenda. The Rebbe sent emissaries to bring the light of Torah to the masses of immigrants arriving in the land. In thousands of letters and in meetings with Israeli leaders and simple folk, the Rebbe urged them to build Israel not as a nation like all others, but as a place where Jewish tradition would be part of the very fabric of society. Chabadnik soon became a term of endearment in modern Hebrew, a synonym for friendship, patience, and concern. The Er Sheva had the world's first Chabad house, the tent of Abraham, our patriarch. Now we follow in Abraham's footsteps to serve the physical and spiritual needs of the city's residents. We place a special emphasis on serving the immigrant populations and the many students in the city. Chabad in Israel 
brings the light of Judaism and Hasidus to the Israeli people through deed and action. Today, there are 220 Chabad houses throughout Israel, from Metula in the north to a lot in the south, that have brought new life into practice of Judaism among the Israeli people. I like very much that there's a place where I could learn and pray every morning. They celebrate the holidays, bar mitzvahs, and other holidays for Jews. This is the best place for me. Welcome to Tel Aviv Yafo, the largest city in Israel. Thank God we've succeeded in opening institutions, Chabad houses across the city, yeshivas, a day school for all the residents of the city and its surroundings. With the Rebbe's merit, we've seen much success. Even in these hard times, we give an optimistic and faithful air. For me, Chabad is a Havat Israel, loving one another. Wherever you see them, they're helping everyone. Welcome to Eilat, the southernmost city in Israel. Tourists come here from all over the world. And when they come to Eilat, they see that Eilat doesn't just have beautiful hotels and calm shores, but there's a lot of Judaism. You'll see it in the Chabad activities throughout the city. It tries to bring Judaic topics and the light of Hasidism, the hidden part of the Torah, in a pleasant way with love. A person does not need to be a great Torah scholar or very knowledgeable in order to understand what we try to relate to every Jew. After each military campaign, the Rebbe urged the Israeli military not to view its success as a result of its own brilliance but to acknowledge God's hand in protecting his people. He urged the people of the armed forces in particular to take extra care to fulfill the Torah's commandments. The Rebbe had a special place in his heart for both current and past soldiers and their families.
Und die, was um Seche geworden und seine Neginim, begut von Betpastus, al Gwule Hohonet, und hitten ob, als soll mit seinem Chass wie Scholle, Neche Hohonet, Likowisch, Lifnehe. Die Jiden, was gefunden ist, sagt Batsova, Beise Darge Schettie, die sagt Betpastus, aber sie darf sein der Rinien. Und Zinden und Lichtig machen, lernen mit zu betreten eh. Und ein Anleben von Messi war heilig, behold, jen war jen. program continues today with special programs at Hanukkah, Tu B'Shvat, Shabbat. The widows and orphans wait for their letters, their gifts, their presents, their visits in order to help fill the loss that they feel from their husbands and fathers. Por Shorun, Heitzachon, in Arzena Hagdesha, in Kfar Chabad, de Chagige von Bar Mitzvah, for die Semi, von die, wo seere Fotter seinen Gefallen al Hagonas, von Eretz Akedesh, Eretz Ashertom mit Ena Schemel, der Kerchebom, der Eishis Ashono, Vadachri Shono. Und dort hat man die Jidu und die Chizuk zusammen mit der Mone, die Korn, die sie haben gebracht, durch und durch, wo sie ihr Vater oder Vater oder Seide ist gefallen, als er ihm im Domo, durch seine Hagone, als er es erkennt, weil der Kodisch, was lebt dort, Musik as all sein de ven nosati sholim boores, bo eile chesrem keim in mius, on oto demult verto seche de keili magzi birchos, shel ha kodush borchu, di brocho ho yikris, fun ge yulo ha mitis va shleimo, al idei mishiach sitkein. Atem mishamberim, neiroi zel shavos, shel shavos, אם אתם משמרים, נהרוי של שבוע של שבוע, אני מראה לכם, נהרוי של ציון של ציון, אני מראה לכם, נהרוי של ציון של ציון.
Chelsea, 